Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Monster Party. Monster Party. Monster Party. Monster Party. <laughs> 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 Monster Party. <laughs> oh, man. Brains. Monster Party. Monster Party. So. Oh, man, I'm so excited. It's it's a very exciting podcast. First Whoa. of all, I would just like to introduce myself. Mm. I am Matt Weinhold. I am Sean Sheridan. I'm Larry Stroth. And I'm James Gonis. And the subject of this podcast is zombies. Zombies. Oh, yes. You might be familiar with yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a there's the zombie thing's kind of big these days. Oh, yeah. It's huge. Yes. Huge. And who better to guide us through this subject? We Matt, I have to tell you, I am so excited because we have two very special people with us to Do discuss. Tell. Yeah, we have the director <gasps> the director of a new short film called Naked Zombie Girl. What? Yes, I love and that title. and we have the naked zombie girl herself. Megan Shadane. Yes. <laughs> and, and the director. Yes. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Ricky Bird. My God. Oh yes. My God. Yes. Oh. Wow. Thank you, Ricky. Yo, Ricky, wow. thank you. Already wasted, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I've had a few. I've had a few drinks. I was like, I was so excited that we were actually going to have Naked Zombie Girl. No, no, sorry, Ricky. I was like so happy that Megan was going to be with us today. So. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Both of them are naked. I appreciate we that. We were all naked, actually, yes. right now at this moment. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But Naked Zombie Girl. I, I have to tell you, when I saw, I was actually introduced to this film actually at Son of Monster Palooza. That's one, correct. One of Monster Party's favorite conventions. Yeah, and what was so cool uh, to our listeners out there, if you haven't been there to Monster Palooza, it's, it's such a great experience. But we were, we were standing there, we were actually interviewing some people, and I was talking to Matt about this film I'd heard about called Naked Zombie Girl. And I looked to my left, and who's there? But M- Megan in a naked zombie girl <laughs> outfit walking towards me. Like, oh my God, there she is! It was so Yeah, great. I was like, I was, is she a genie? <laughs> <laughs> but Ricky, I, I got to ask, how, naked zombie girl, how did this thing, whole thing come together? Tell us about that. Uh, me and Megan were working on another project called Trespass to Terror. It was like another indie film we were both acting on. And uh, I kind of came up with the idea and just ran it past her if she would be willing to um, kill zombies naked with a chainsaw. And I said yes, of course. <laughs> she actually didn't hesitate at all. You know, you yeah. usually feel like a creeper asking yeah. her, like, hey, you want to be naked in a movie? And, you're a keeper. Yeah. We, we love you. <laughs> but So you're a big fan of zombie, zombie yes, movies? Yes, I, I love zombie movies. I actually uh, didn't start off liking zombie movies at first, and then I, I don't know, I just kind of just fell in love with them um i've always appreciated zombie movies but i think over the last like eight or nine years i've really you know have have a real love for zombie films they what are some of your favorites uh my favorite is the remake of night of the living dead whoa 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 yeah. whoa <laughs> wait a minute <laughs> wait a minute night, night of the living dead the one that tom savini directed yes really Rick, really Rick. Yeah. okay okay Tony Todd. Uh, oh. yeah. yeah and uh, patricia tallman yep. right yeah. I'm actually I'm, that, that there's I some enjoy really that good movie. things in that movie. Yeah, that no, movie. no, 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 no. Yeah. Look, look, look. I'm look. just saying I enjoy it. I, I, I'm just you know he's a young guy. You know I'm just, you, you know he's. What do you got to condescend no, 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 to him right off the bat? The classic, the classic. Well, wait, wait. Before, dead. but well, let's hear. I like to hear what Ricky has to say about why he likes right. to read yeah. it, and, right. and does he still like the original too? I honestly love the original for what it's worth, but I think just the acting, the special effects and stuff that were in the. Uh, remake in the 90s was, they just they really grabbed my attention and I thought Tony Todd did an amazing job uh, he is great he, he's really good I, mean, I love Tony yeah. Todd in almost anything yeah he's and, and let me just correct that anything yeah, <laughs> yeah he's, he's just a, he just he has a really good presence and I think that was a movie where it was before he was the candy man he was just this big scary guy he was just right. like a normal guy right. trying to survive and that, I think that's the only role that I've seen Tony Todd play where he's just like a, a normal guy a human being like a, right. that's a very a good point yeah creepy presence. and also yeah. So it's I think Patricia Tolman I think is playing the Barbara role, but it's yeah. definitely a reversal as far as that character because yeah. Barbara in the original is is very much the passive victim. Judith O'Day. Yeah. Judith, Judith O'Day. O'Day. And she's great in that, but like but they definitely changed it uh in the in the remake. I yeah. really appreciate yeah. that twist too. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. if you I love the fact if you are gonna remake something, turn something on its head. Yeah. A little bit. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. I think it's actually one of my favorite remakes. I think that it did I think it did the re you know, I mean Nothing will touch the original for what it is. Yes, but yes, uh, for remaking <laughs> for remaking a movie, I think they did actually pretty well. What do you think of the uh, Dawn of the Dead remake? I actually oh. really like that movie. Oh, yeah. you don't like that? 
No. Oh, because they run. They right? run. This they is run. ridiculous. Right. This is a point of contention this between. This is absolutely okay, ridiculous. Yes. All right, I knew we could get past zombies down. versus slow zombies. No, 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 no. Hold on. Right. There. It's okay. No, I'm no. no. Okay, Megan. No, Megan. I want to hear. Go yeah, yeah. Let's... Um, I just, you know, they're zombies. They're dead. They're like rotting. How are you gonna run and not have flesh yes. fly off yes. you and your eyes? But I love her even more. Okay, no, that's true. But that's someone who's been dead for a while. What if they've just recently died? They still have probably most of their muscles and all that. That kind no, of stuff. What if they were marathon and, runners before they and, died? And no. then, <laughs> well, let, but, but let me, more importantly, can I just point out? Kenya would be screwed. <laughs> <laughs> the fastest zombie runners come from Kenya. <laughs> okay, okay. Getting getting back to the. Uh, did you want to say something? Because I know yeah, you've been done on, biting yes. a bit here. Yeah. Go on, no, I mean, in, in Naked Zombie Girl, are the zombies runners or? They're fast walkers. We don't have any runners. Fast. <laughs> that's that's okay, a good listen, middle ground. Listen, listen. Because the shoes are untied, are, and he probably tried. Are they power walkers? <laughs> yeah, they're like, yeah, I guess like a see, seagull power see, walkers. See, here's the thing that gets me. When you when you make zombies run, they're not really zombies. To me, it's just a bunch of actors with makeup. The terrifying thing about a zombie is that it's, it's slow. The anticipation. Yes, yes. And let me tell you something else. It always really gets me when you, when you bring this up. It's like when a zombie is, you're dead. You are a dead zombie, okay? And you have two run you need serious cognitive thought to make those muscles move and 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 move fast and so it makes no logical yeah. sense tell that to a cheetah <laughs> <laughs> cheetahs are yeah, not yeah. no 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 cheetahs che- are the big thinkers of the of yes, the wilderness yes, yes they are yeah. yes they are they're ferocious so then a movie like 28 days later you're not a fan of them but but let me ask you this are those true zombies well those aren't zombies see so uh-huh. more, uh-huh. more, uh-huh. more Eat humans that. affected with uh, yeah, those are affected sick, by those sick are fast they're sick okay, people okay so that's not Technically a zombie, no. it's not a zombie. No. Okay, okay. Oh. For the record, I would have hated that movie whether they walked or ran. Ooh. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, <laughs> there I, he is. I, There's I, my I, James. <laughs> no, I didn't. I actually liked okay. the film, but I went into it knowing that those were not zombies. But, but, not the, zombies. but the Dawn of the Dead remake, then you're saying. They're running, Sean. Okay. They shouldn't run. S- it, my thing is, some of them shouldn't run. They can't all run. But you can have running zombies, because first of all, no. the, the minute you start putting rules on zombies, you then have to entertain the idea of, uh, am I overthinking this this creation of something that is entirely made up in the first okay, place? Okay, yeah. okay, no, 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 no. Let me take a step back. See, the, 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 the stupid thing about that is, oh, okay, well, why not the zombie get in a car and start to drive? Why doesn't the zombie get in a helicopter and take off in the helicopter? Do you have, a, do you have in your story an entertaining <laughs> way to make that plausible? Then no, fine. No, that's that is it's not a, story. a zombie. It's a zombie. There are no in, uh, zombies in in Day of the Dead. Make them grow wings. I don't give a shit. Just tell me it's a, it's tell not me a, a good story. story. And in Day of the Dead, they start to evolve because Bub, yeah. right? Yeah. Which, he starts to take a gun, right? Yeah. Yeah, Bub know. starts to evolve, yeah. And right. yeah. Part of the issue for me is that I thought that Dawn of the Dead, the original, was a masterpiece, and I, I thought it was too soon, if, to if there's any a time, a good time, to remake it. I didn't think a remake should have been done to begin with. Some films, Matt, I don't think should ever be remade. Like, you know, let's say Wizard of Oz, or yeah. Night of the Living <laughs> Dead, or oh. Dawn of the Dead. <laughs> oh. Some films should not be remade. I'm sorry. Citizen Kane, come on. Hey, it, look, I my thing is, it's case by case. Yeah. You remake something... And it's good, then it, then it's fine. Well, but you if th- you ma- remake it and it's terrible, you just made a terrible film. Well, you wasn't, just, wasn't it also Tom Savini's first feature directing I job? So. Right, I think yeah. he probably really wanted yeah. to kind of take it and make it his own. Right. Yeah, and I mean, for what it's worth, I, I agree on the same things with the fast running zombies. But I also do agree the levels of, zombie? I guess, zombie. <laughs> you know, where, where I could see if someone was freshly bitten. Like that's why I really like this. The what I liked about the remake of the Dawn of the Dead was the a lot of the shots they pulled off, and the, one of the most amazing shots at that time was the uh, pull away when she her she finds out her husband is infected. Oh yeah, and they pull away and they have that wide shot of the whole all this havoc wreaking. Like, it's great. just chaos. It's beautiful. It's like, yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. Zach, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Z- Zach Snyder is amazing, and then yeah. the uh, the things they used in the back of their head. They they wouldn't they weren't able to put squibs in the back of their head so he actually had fish line on the back of their head and would yank out skull fragments nice. for their headshots which I thought was genius. Wow, this yeah. is, J- yeah. is Gagun, um, the director's name. No, uh, this is Zach Snyder. Zach Snyder. Zach Snyder. Yeah. I was right, right. But yeah. see, here's the thing: is is it like do I think that the remake of Dawn of the Dead is as good or better than the first one? No, the first one is seminal. It's it's they're, amazing. They're it's a, it's a masterpiece. Yeah. Cult classic. Yeah, yeah, but but the remake. Uh, was enjoyable. I had some problems with it too. Like, okay. hey, you don't put the guy who's 
been evil through the entire movie and you put him in charge of the one door yeah. that's supposed to be open. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, well, okay, so we can say we, we disagree about that. but uh, <laughs> We agree that we disagree. I'll tell you one thing, though. With Naked Zombie Girl, though, I, I'm pretty amazed with Megan. So, Megan, the th- title, it's Meg- uh, Naked Zombie Girl. So you had to do this whole film nude? Well, tell so, us tell, the yeah, basic tell, premise yeah, of this. Tell us what, about how, this. How this yeah. comes wow. about. <laughs> um, basically, the story starts out is there's two females who are basically prostitutes in the car with her pimp and the pimp has gotten bitten and you know they're driving this really you know crappy 1976 cadillac i think do you remember (laughs) you better get this right because the the fans will rebel (laughs) (laughs) don't hate me if it's wrong um but anyway so you know the car breaks down all of a sudden you know i said josh that's the actor's name that plays the pimp in the movie um his character is his character's name is Tony. Tony, and, and that's, uh, that's Tony yeah. from Tony Todd. And oh. Oh. Yeah. Her name is Barbara. I'm Barbara. You know, nice. homage nice. back to you know classics there. Yeah, um, way to go. You know, and then all of a sudden, you know, our Ollie is getting ripped from the back seat, and Tony's dead, and all of a sudden there's just zombies everywhere, and she has to fight to survive. I mean, that's horrifying. Yeah, You're stuck was, in this car. It was uh. really crazy. Even on set, it was just kind of intense, and you know, it was really easy to get lost in the moment because the makeup was so well done, and there was just all these people crawling and climbing and grabbing, and it was, it was very intense, even just to film it, and wow. it was just really cool. Grabbing. Well, is, is, uh, is, would it be a spoiler if I asked how you lose the clothes? No, 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 not really. I think it gives away in the trailer. Um, as Barbara is escaping from the car, you know, she's kind of blocked in. Uh, she finally gets a moment to jam out, I guess, and the car door closes on the dress. Wow. <laughs> That's great. And you still have shoes, right? You- <laughs> yes, yes, I have combat boots, so yeah. it's all okay. Yeah. That's, wow, that's even cooler. That's even better, yeah. <laughs> this is this story is getting better and better. Yeah. <laughs> now, how, that's what you, my wife wore during our our wedding. Yeah, <laughs> that's uh, perfect. Yeah. perfect. That's awesome. Now, how was it? I mean, just uh, obviously that's quite an, an enticing factor in the title alone, but like how was it as far as filming that and you know, can you talk about the, you know, I mean, just doing the nudity and how you guys wanted to do it. Obviously, it was an element of it, but but it was the horror and the action and the, right, and the predicament. Yeah. Long days. <laughs> Very right. long days. Um, I, think, I think what uh, threw people off, because a lot of people didn't like the title, a lot of people didn't like the concept. Really? Um, they just thought, they're insane. Who are these people? Yeah, they, <laughs> Who are these people? Like, we got a lot of hate mail. <laughs> are you serious? We were, uh, before we started actually releasing images of what it would look like, a lot of people were like, how are you going to do a naked zombie girl? So is she a zombie? Is she killing? What, you know, mm-hmm. what is this? And finally got tired of explaining. So we just did a photo shoot and we just mm-hmm. had her with the zombies and we showed, you know, kind of like, this is what we're uh, doing. Right. Uh, but, you know, having, having someone that's completely naked on set the whole time is super awkward for her, for Megan, <laughs> you know, not awkward for all of us over there. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> take two, take two. All right, take 10, you know, in Ricky's events, they were completely professional yeah. for the most part. And, um, you know, we, I was, I felt not naked because there was so much gore and so much blood. Yeah. And right. It was just very cool. It was w- nice how they did it. But don't you also feel like after a period of time you're naked? It's like ah, who gives a yeah, shit? I'm you like, know? You like, know ah, yeah, it, you're over. Yeah. Ahead of time, I'm sure you guys got together and sort of worked out like what the boundaries were going to be and how you were going to pull this off in a way that because you weren't entirely naked. Yeah. Wait, what? She's not yeah. entirely yeah. naked. <laughs> Well, I thought, uh, I mean, she looks like she's entirely naked. Yeah, fool me. She has. Uh, Is that a spoiler alert? Yeah, spoiler alert. No, no. I don't. We, we don't have to. No, we, no, yeah. totally. Uh, she basically has uh, Nick Reisinger, um, great makeup artist. He's uh, the backing behind all the zombies mm-hmm. on there. Him and his team. Basically, what he did is he casted her under. Oh yeah, and yeah. Yeah. it must have been a fun a casting patch, section. Yeah, right. Put yeah. a modesty patch, so she has modesty patches on all. Very the very thin good latex, stuff. Yeah. very thin latex. And then and then we applied the gore over, which it's hard for certain amount of uh, certain blood to stay a certain Gravity color. Gravity takes effect, and so he had some <laughs> yeah. mixtures that he made that actually worked really well. But that's great. I, you know, we really got to hand it to you for <laughs> doing this in yeah. the first place and getting to a place where you were comfortable, where you can really, because that's a really strong, powerful character, and you have to, you can't really fake that. It was my only my second film too, so I'm wow. like, you know what, Ricky, you better do me good because it was only my second film, and uh, thank God it's that's been awesome. Good. Well, what I've what I what I've seen of it, uh, Ricky, you've done an amazing job. It made you look you look great. The and zombies the, look you. great too. The like, zombies are frightening. Yeah, you can frightening. thank Nick Reisinger for that. He's, yeah, he's great. He did really good. 
did yeah. an amazing job. That's cool. But, and so, where did you get your cast, though, Ricky? That's what I want to know. I mean, you have uh, a lot of. I mean, well, uh, I mean where'd you shoot this? Uh, we shot it in Bakersfield. I know. Ba- not Bakersfield? A lot of people know where Bakersfield is. <laughs> no. That's like in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, what? we had to. Uh, what? We had to <laughs> get the horses. Yeah, we got the Who horses lives out there? of there and uh, shot our film over there. Um, it, we shot actually in front of a bar, um, which is actually a great filming location called <laughs> Ethel's Old Corral. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, and it's like it's I know just, it well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's out in the middle of nowhere. It's great. So we we uh, built the set and kind of brought the set out there and shot the majority of the movie out there. We had uh, some people from L.A. You know, Megan was from Fresno area or up north, and then uh, we had a couple other people from up north. D.T. Carney, Fresno, and, Bakersfield. This is yeah. almost like an international production. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. Ba- Bakers- you can get Stockton in there. Yeah. Uh, they call a lot it of variety. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bakersfield, for those who don't know, is uh, north of California, a couple hours, and it's it's. That's most- where all rich people go to <laughs> yeah. retire. It's the genius the, where the geniuses hang out. Yeah, That's right. yeah. All right, so you, the, you have this neat idea. Okay, so how did you? Uh, I mean, are you like filmmakers full time, or like what do you guys do when you're not? Um, making naked zombie girl. I'm a male prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> well, perfect. I, I miss cl- clearly. <laughs> no, uh, I, I work on uh, drilling rigs in around Bakersfield, wow. actually, oh all through God. California, uh-huh. and then uh, I actually worked in North Dakota too. Uh huh. Um, and then so we work on a schedule where we we work for like seven days straight, mm-hmm. and then we are off for seven days. So that's what how I shoot my movie stuff. Wow, yeah, that's right. badass. Yeah, that's gonna and go. Megan, um, I'm actually full time modeling and acting now. Uh, I was in the Navy. Beforehand, so that's kind of how I came out to California. What did you do in the Navy? I was a jet mechanic. Actually. Oh, oh my God. You're getting cooler and cooler by the minute. Oh, my God. Did you know that? Naked Zombie Girl fixes jets. Yeah. You are that's so cool. Awesome. Yes. You are so amazingly cool. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That's cool. And obviously, you guys, I mean, and you guys are horror fans. And, yes. and, oh, definitely. And, and you're into. And oh, no, what about, like, uh, as far as the zombies? You know, we, we talked a lot in Monster Party about old school effects and grindhouse style and like because we love we love horror films in the 70s and and early 80s i mean do you guys are fans of that i mean what is the what is the kind of approach in, in, in naked zombie girl that you're doing for that um i think the approach would more or less i grew up on a lot of vhs tapes and if it, if right, it didn't have cool. that grainy feel to it it wasn't a real movie <laughs> right, yeah. right and now that yeah. everything's so clear it kind of steals <laughs> some of that and i think that's what we were trying to portray with the naked zombie girl yes we shot it in hd but we just went in and we dumbed down a lot of things yeah. because right. that's that's what i like i think i like uh i like that not so clear kind of you know, raw yeah kind of yeah, it's like feel, like a film look basically but add yeah. sort of a, a lurid quality yeah. to yeah. it too and that's that's lurid where, i like yeah. that word yeah, <laughs> yeah. That word. that's where we were trying to go with it you know i mean it's it's uh it's actually a, you know a huge labor of love just because I I really like the genre zombies horror and I like throwback stuff. I'm real big about things not being perfect and not being real cr- crystal clear. I mean Blu-ray is killing us right now, mm-hmm. you know. It, it killed a lot of my favorite movies from, you know, back in the day. I get them on Blu-ray and I'm like, "Wow, that's like a seeing stuff background. that you're not right, right. <laughs> like, yeah. Wow, that totally takes me out of it. Thank you." <laughs> it makes everything look like a documentary to me, yeah. especially those HD TVs. It's just everything's crystal clear and you're like, yeah. "Am I watching the Discovery Channel right now?" Yeah. Like, yeah. what's going on? You know, it's funny you bring that up. That's one reason why I love uh, the original classic Night of the Living Dead. In a way, I mean, a lot of it's shot kind of like documentary style in a way, it you was, know. It was yeah. the cameras yeah, they the used. Cameras. They, well, Romero came from right. documentary filmmaking, right? And, right. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. totally. and that, I, I and I do appreciate that. We've actually showed Night of the Living Dead at a few events mm-hmm. just because I love I love the original too. I just I don't know. I just really like the. I mean, I can you know the zombies running is one thing. That's oh, up to our argument. You know, I'm I'm still on the fence with those. The one thing that I can't uh, stand is zombies talking. Uh, that uh, is uh, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah. Wait, that what is it? Land of the Dead. Oh my, that's right. Yeah. Oh, well, that yeah, that one. Right. I think yeah. we all can agree on that one. That, right. Uh, oh, we're friends now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not not a fan. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's bad. That's real bad. But you know what? In, in a way, I, yeah, not the talking, but I I don't mind a little little comedy like Shaun of the Dead. Yeah. For example, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Like I absolutely that. love Shaun well, that, of the but Dead. But that's a love letter to horror film yeah. that is, yeah. happens to be a comedy. You know what I mean? think that's what also opened up the whole zombie genre to a bigger audience. And yeah. Yeah. those yeah. people that were like, oh, these are zombie horror films. We don't, you know, it kind of took zombie from horror and put it in its whole. You Made know, a little more mainstream. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. But back in 2004 went with, with Simon, Simon Pegg, I mean, in a way, it's not so much like 
I mean, it's 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 a serious thing that's happening with the yeah. zombie right, apocalypse, right. and it just so happens that the situations that these people get in yeah. that that's what's funny. But yeah. the zombies are still pretty horrifying. Yeah. And well, I think and that's, that's what, what makes ha- it good. Yeah. yeah, that's how you have to do a horror comedy is you have to play the horror straight. Mm-hmm. You can't uh, have you can't the be zombie like, yeah, naked gun or something. Yeah, <laughs> where, where the zombies are goofy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't work. They're doing dance numbers. And right. Stuff. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, are we talking about like thriller here? Yeah. <laughs> that ruined dancing zombies for yeah. me. It really did. I actually like that though. Uh, I like, uh, I, zombies I like... can't dance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That actually ruined dancing for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, talk about an earlier, much earlier horror comedy. You guys uh, is a uh, from the eighties is Re- Return of the Living Dead. Yeah, yeah. which yeah. is which is a great fast horror. zombies. Yeah. It is fast zombies. That's true. Yeah. They are yeah. fast. The tar zombie, yeah. the tar zombie. That's yeah, the amazing. Come on, fantastic great. creation, right? Yeah. yeah. I don't but know. That was like lots of broad comedy, but it, but the zombies were pretty cool, pretty scary, and they yeah. were kind of fast. I don't know if they were running, Sean. I and think they it talk. was a fast walk. <laughs> and they talked. They did say they brains. Actually, you know what? You know, in that yeah. case, it works. And now. I, in that yeah. case, I think it, it worked. worked yeah. Yeah. Send more cops. Come yeah. on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's classic. Oh my God, that's. I thought it was. They just yeah. said brains. Brains. Oh, yeah, but you're right. Yeah. They said yeah. send more cops. Yeah. But that was like a, like a tongue in cheek. Well, I mean, yeah. you knew. Yeah, you just, knew from the beginning. But that's what I'm saying is that you can't have these hard and fast rules. I'm sorry. It depends on what the movie is. If you make a movie where you set everything up. And so now it somehow makes sense, and you're brought into that world like you are, like how any movie works. Mm-hmm. Yeah, then you can get away. From well, it. there shouldn't be rules. Well, well, you know what made that film for me was Leanne Quigley. You know, <laughs> dancing nude on the. Uh, sure. The, the, I mean, the, an, an early yeah, version of a naked yeah. zombie girl. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. I think the yeah. only time it worked for me was in Cemetery Man when they're talking. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, but which is a great movie, by the way. But yeah, I mean, I think that's I'm trying to because now we're talking about. It, I'm like, wait, where have they talked before? But I think in Land of the Dead, it was so bad. It's you know? terrible, and yeah. that's so that's terrible. where we're at. Uh, you know, I like uh, a lot of zombie movies, but I think that was one thing that we had to make clear when we first started. We had Nick Reisinger on the makeup, mm-hmm. and me and Nick, we sat down and we were like, you know, this is. This is what we need these zombies to look like. So we actually had everyone come and do head cast mm-hmm. and you know, like did you yeah. know did everything legitimately. You know, some of the practical effects didn't work as well as we thought they were going to. So <laughs> really? we kind of have a mixture. But um, I mean we we basically used this uh, short film as how we call it our training ground for okay. the feature. Mm-hmm. Cool. So I think the feature will So the idea is to make a feature of this, yes, correct? Definitely. Cool. Okay, awesome. so Ricky, where can Okay, so for our listeners out there, where can they see the short Naked Zombie Girl? Uh, right now it will be available hopefully in a couple months. Mm-hmm. Um, you can either go to hecticfilms.com. Okay. Or you can go. You can find us on Facebook, Hectic Films on Facebook, and there's also a website for Naked Zombie Girl, which is NakedZombieGirlMovie.com. Okay, cool. and that'll have all the links. Um, we're also working on the comic book. There's images from the well, comic book. There. Wait, there's a comic book too. It's a yeah. comic book. Well, awesome. When, Tell when us. What's the com- The is it uh, the comic book's like loosely based off of the short film. It's a comic book I wrote with a friend of mine um, who actually also works on rigs. Um, we we wrote the comic book and um, we got in touch with this amazing artist John. John's awesome. Barogola. Barogola. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he is amazing. He's from um, New York. He's cool. He's he, yeah. He's in New York. He's doing all the drawing for it. And then once it's done, it'll be for sale on our site. Okay. Uh, if you want your name in the site, there's actually a GoFundMe page which <gasps> is on Naked Zombie Girls Facebook mm-hmm. and on the website, and you can get your name in the comic f- for a donation. Yeah. Cool. Oh, then, so we yeah. can help out naked zombie How about merchandise? Girls? <laughs> like a series of uh, zom- act- naked zombie girl collectible thimbles. Or- <laughs> I was going to say a naked zombie girl action figure. We're actually, we're actually doing that. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Are you serious? Awesome. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait for that. That's gonna be great. When you're, yeah, it's uh, this this whole uh, zombie girl thing has really blown up as like mm-hmm. our, our little indie franchise. I mm-hmm. guess so. Yeah. We've been trying to make as much stuff, you know, because this is supposed to be a grindhouse superhero, basically. Yeah. You know, empowering women and empowering guys who like naked women. <laughs> <laughs> it's, empowering it's, everything. Yeah, <laughs> and zombie fans. I mean, there's something. I mean, any zombie fan can tell you if if they heard of a film with a chick. Naked, killing zombies with a chainsaw. It doesn't matter how shitty the movie is. You can watch it, you know. So, right. so the feature is in the plans, is in yes. the works, yes. okay? Yeah. So yeah. we want our listeners to go out and support this. And Ricky, have you written the feature yet? Uh, yes. We, uh, I've been working with a couple script writers, and uh, we just finalized a script last week. Uh, we're going to go through and make a couple changes just to some little things, but uh, basically we've, we've come up with the whole concept. Um, we're going to have... 
the naked zombie girl, we're, we're kind of debating right now whether she should be naked the whole film. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or oh, yeah. or if they're, you know, we, we, we definitely need that little bit of story. But, no. you know, I, I'm, I'm, no. the, I'm the guy that goes and see a, sees a Batman movie, and I'm like, why the hell are we even seeing Bruce Wayne? Why is it? <laughs> Where's Batman? <laughs> yeah, why isn't Batman right here from no. the beginning all the way to the end? I like the idea of a, a little bit of a slow build. Yeah. Like you're going. Anticipation. Yeah, and then it just goes. Berserk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like the minute the clothes come off, that's like, oh, yeah. the shit has hit the fan. And that's kind of what we're debating. You know, I'm I'm more of a tease kind of guy myself. I think teases go a long way. It's the build up. But mm. but definitely having the build up, you know, beforehand, then, you know, bam, she's naked and everyone's like, oh, I'm waiting for that moment, you know. <laughs> um, well, in theory, I mean, if I can interject a suggestion. Okay. <laughs> oh, here, here it comes. Here we here go. It comes. Mr. Film School. Oh, this, is the, this is the frustrated screenwriter coming out here. Okay. You know, um, have her lose the clothes in in the first act, and then have her get dressed again and lose the clothes again in the second act, and so yeah. for the rest yeah. of the movie. No, 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 no. Just have her lose them, <laughs> and she should lose them through the whole thing. Because I think there yeah. should be a point where it's just like she doesn't care that she needs clothes because it's like her, her her life is in danger. She doesn't care that she's naked anymore. So I like the fact that she stays naked the whole time. Here's, here's a million dollar question. Does she lose the clothes quickly or slowly? She quickly. 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 See, what, what no, you? I think this is what I how I see it. Okay. Mr. Film School too. Um, <laughs> what if the, she's gone through so much that finally there's someone offering her some clothes and she just goes, no. Yeah. <laughs> no. Maybe that's your ending. I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable in my own skin. That's, uh, <laughs> well, you got a lot of great concepts here, but I know you already got your thing set. So, that's cool. You know, we, well, we yeah, can't wait for this. I mean, uh, we're, we're a group. We're always in a group setting, so that's yeah. why mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, never, I'm never one of those guys who's like, well, oh, my idea is the best idea, because <laughs> trust me, if we did that, a lot of the stuff would be really bad, even worse than it already is. You know, it's funny how the zombies, the whole concept of zombies, how much it has grown over the years and how huge it is Well, it's now. a genre that luckily you yeah. can interpret it in so many ways. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I mean, I don't know if you like from yeah. like like the Lucio Fulci, you know, all the yeah. Italian zombie films, yep. like the original zombie from 1979, 80. That, that movie to me, like, the zombies in that movie truly look like dead bodies. Yeah, you know, the yeah. way they just shamble around, and, and they're, they're just, like, and they're, they're supernatural, just, right? They're they're they are voodoo. actually yeah, they're yeah. voodoo oriented, and, you know, and they're zombies. slow walking, aren't they, Sean? They are, yeah. they are. <laughs> oh, thank you. But that thank was you. one of the yeah. first, and they're early, fine too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, the real Italian gore films of the yeah. past. Is, is, is that the movie where a zombie bites a shark? Yes. Yes. Yeah. A zombie Famous. attacks yeah. a shark underwater and kills the shark. I mean, wow. You can't get better than that. Yeah. Which yeah. I thought was pretty incredible and I think makes that movie, but the ending scene when they have all those people walking anything through New York. Oh, yeah. Walking on the bridge. White, paint, white face paint. And I'm like watching it on. I'm like, wow. You know, that, that looks really obvious that they're wearing makeup. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's, right. It's without a doubt a flawed yeah. film. Yeah. Well, yes. Yeah, yeah. But, but, but now yeah. We're, we're talking fast zombies. Mm-hmm. For a second, one of my favorite zombie things of all time, and I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but it is a BBC miniseries called Dead Set. And yes, check it out. Dead Set, the story is they're shooting the British version of Big Brother. While this okay. is happening, a zombie outbreak occurs. And everybody who's there for the um, what? Are, what they get rid of one of the contestants? So the people, the contestants the inside yeah, the big elimination house. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, while, so all these people are there. Zombies wipe all of them out, and the only people left are a plucky PA, the <laughs> asshole uh, producer. executive producer, <laughs> and then everybody in the Big Brother house who don't know any of this is happening. <laughs> it's pretty awesome, and it is awesome. That it's kind like of funny. Idea. Great special effects and. A really, really smart screenplay. Acting is great. And uh, yeah, they're fast zombies. And, what and it, it really again? works. It's called Dead Set. Dead, Dead Set, Set. yeah. Was no, what, when was Dead Set done, though? Several it's, years ago. Yeah, right? no, no, yeah. Early 2000s. Uh, yeah, something like that. Maybe yeah. like, it feels like, what, five years ago? It's well, like about a six episode series, I think. Well, if we're talking about great zombie television, I would go refer to The Walking Dead on yeah. AMC, which has slow walking zombies. And, and it's so huge now. It is so popular. It is. I mean, it's such a great program, and yeah, and I love and I love how they've gone through this evolution of when the whole zombie apocalypse started, and then they, then the, this little team of people got together and went to this little farm, and like you had a season where it was, you know, they, it was just kind of like trying to struggle with this whole thing of this uh, zombie apocalypse, and then this just huge explosion of like zombies invading, and then. That deal with the prison and now where it's gone, it's just it's just fantastic. Well, and I read the comic books. I don't know if you yeah. were a fan of the comic books, but the comic books. What what really annoyed me a little bit 
was when the that farmhouse. Sh- the farmhouse, yeah. of course. No, I whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a uh, minute. You didn't yeah, like see? the farmhouse? No, yes. Nobody likes the farmhouse, I Larry. The, I love the Nobody. The farm- zombie you. action came to a screeching halt yeah. in that whole season. No, no, like, no, no, oh, Sean, Sean. It did, it, first of all, it didn't come to a halt. <laughs> it did. There was a lot of drama that happened. Sean, don't you remember? Uh, yeah, the, a lot of like, oh, is she pregnant with Yes, she's pregnant. Sean. such a bad. Do you love Do you love me? No, I don't know. Do I love you? Sean, Sean, that's real. Sean, no, shut up. This is Sean. That's real life. That's real life. Like I that want was zombies hap- in real life. Well, you can't have zombies. No, no, Sean, and... you can't have zombies constantly, 24 hours a day. It was just, it was just too life. much of it. Though. That's not real like, life. When you, you know the zombie apocalypse is happening, you're not hanging out in the fucking farmhouse and yes, shooting yes. off your guns. And no, they, they, they <laughs> needed to practice, Matt. They yeah, needed to practice. Right. Yeah. No, that was actually a good move on no, their part. It was and, terrible. And, you know, you see, it's terrible. No, no, they no, they no, set no. up the rules that you can't do that. No, 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 no. Cause a herd. No, 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 no. They're doing it at a farmhouse, Matt. They're they're another red flag. That's yeah. Yeah, terrible. Well, what, my big thing with the farmhouse was the fact that I read. I'm a co- fan of the comics. Ah, okay. Read all the comics, and I think they're in the farmhouse for half of, of a comic. Exactly. Right. Yes. And, yeah. and then all of a sudden, it's like AMC's like, oh, we don't have a lot of money for locations, and I know you guys are going to the prison next, so why don't we spend some Film money here. and wait here? Yeah, we'll yeah just, right. What should have been two episodes. Yeah. See, no, 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 see, no, no, no. See, what I, I thought, uh, what, I, what I read into it is there was a lot of psychological stuff that was going on at that yeah, time. Yeah, but there, let me ask and you. No, 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 no. There was a I. really bad dialogue. Oh! God, there wasn't bad dialogue. Terrible that was dialogue. great. But Larry, compared to the other seasons before and after it, which are yeah. great, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, do you, do you like, is the farmhouse season your favorite season? Okay, okay. You know what it is, I mean, like, Sean? You know what it's kind of like? It's kind of like. Did you get, were you scared on, by on, episodes on, of Little on, House on the on, Prairie? Hang on. <laughs> Sean, it's kind of like, it's kind of like. Escape to the Planet of the Apes, okay, where you have like it's it's instead of like battle, 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 and all this intense stuff, you have that moment where there's a little soft moment, okay. It's like you you are breathing a little bit before you get back into the whole battle, battle, battle. Oh thing. yeah, but Escape had a lot of other good stuff and good yeah. action. Yeah, in but it I'm, too, just, but I'm like, just saying, you know, I I like suddenly like they were suddenly dogs and I, then they went yeah. they became apes well, again. I think I think you probably like you probably like the farmhouse just because it gives you that Night of the Living Dead. Feel yeah, it does sure, a bit. sure. No, it wasn't yeah. even that. It wasn't even siege. It would be you <laughs> saw if, if they were if they were fighting off zombies. They in the do farmhouse. fight off. They do fight no. off. Zombies. Yes, one yes. zombie. No, no. Yeah, see, that see, falls that, in a the well. Yeah, 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 here's yeah, the funny yeah. thing. You guys, you guys totally forgot <laughs> what happened in that season. Don't you remember that well, yeah. they had to go? They Unfortunately, had to go yeah, I and another thing. Yeah, the thing they searching for that fucking girl forever. Okay, it was the payoff was fantastic. I loved it. Great, but they took forever and they kept talking. Talking about her and looking for her just took forever. And by the time uh, says, she says, comes out of the farmhouse, yes. I'm like, thank God she's dead. Yeah. Oh, see, you guys <laughs> are horrible. You guys, get out of here. You guys are horrible. You guys are absolutely horrible. I mean, if you if you had any love for a, a fellow human being, or you know, then you, you, yeah, you don't. You so don't. that's yeah, my. Yeah, yes. So that's how you yes. judge me. No, 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 no. no. That's no, how you that, judge my moral that barometer. Thing, that thing, trying to find that little girl, it was it was so hard. It that was, was the goal. They were yes, and it was great, Sean. It was emotional, Ma- yeah. Sean. When that yeah. moment happened, I. I was like crying. I was yeah, so. You know, it was so I have no doubt that you were crying. You know, <laughs> watching the watching that's right. Dead, that's right. right. Okay. okay. Died, Thank you. Okay. 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 Thank you. Unfeeling with Matt. A, with Thank a box you. of Kleenex yes. and some chocolates. Yes. <laughs> I hope Ice they cream. find her. Okay. See, now I don't know how our listeners feel, but I thought that scene, the whole season with the farmhouse, I I absolutely loved it, and where it's going now, yeah. where it went with I the mean, whole prison, and where it's going, it's 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 gotten better. Well, look, I, fact, I have no problem. The fact that we have a grade A TV show and it's about zombies period it's fantastic yeah, it's pretty you, you know what I mean yeah. I mean really it's like it's, it's a big no, 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 yeah. Yeah. huge I mean, and it's and strong for that stuff, show. Too. Even like, even that, uh, even during that season, I was like, I'm going to stick with it. Yeah, just yeah. to hope that it gets yeah. better. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. It's kind of in that way. It's kind of a golden age, and that we yeah. have uh, we have strong hardcore horror mm-hmm. on TV. You know, which and is pretty I, amazing. I applaud AMC for doing that. That was really yeah. ballsy for them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, and and you look at these other networks, whether you know ABC, NBC, CBS, and they, you know, you have your CS. Although horror. Is becoming really big. There are other well, networks with that the Dracula series and and the Grimm and and oh, yeah. uh, I mean uh, Penny Dreadful, Penny Dreadful. I mean American Horror Z Story. Well, it's, American yeah. Horror yeah, Story. Yeah, it's a big thing one. now. I mean, it's true. It's core, horror is kind of like a hip hip deal now. It's kind yeah. of everywhere, you know. Well, and I mean, if you really look back, it's what what made a lot of these film companies big. I mean, look at the Universal Monsters. Uh, totally, you know, mm. they, they took a big risk when they were that's shooting what the Dracula. first big that's right. horror yeah. franchise. Yeah. Is. yeah. yeah. 
And yeah. that, that's something, I mean, look at Lionsgate, too. Lionsgate had yeah. the same kind of turnaround. New Line Cinema, mm-hmm. the same same kind of turnaround. Um, I'm, what, what's crazy to me, though, is I was reading something uh, a couple weeks ago that said HBO actually turned down Walking Dead. <gasps> they actually approached HBO first because they, wow. they said it was too gory. No. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And it, it, which is weird for me. You know, they have a True Blood. Yeah, and, True Blood. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not a huge fan of True Blood, but, you know, it is. it, it does have gore in it. And it's just like, I don't know why they would. Push away I, yeah, you know yeah. it's funny I can see that because you know vampires are supposed to be more like sexy and yeah, seductive yeah. and zombies are you know it's like decaying flesh and yeah, stuff and, and, but... and True Blood like because I followed that I, I enjoyed the show for a while yeah. and then it bad. like it got really terrible really bad, yeah. really bad. the like, books are so much better yeah. I've read the books and they're so much better I couldn't even I couldn't even finish it like I couldn't finish the series at all oh, but wow. but I think I think you're right yeah. Larry I think that it was like they think that it's so you know vampires are so sexy yeah. and and I, I'm sure a lot of people thought that the whole zombie craze had kind of reached its end. Oh, they I, say that every year, and it just gets right. right? It gets and, bigger, and yeah, bigger. bigger and bigger. I mean, do you realize? I mean, there's stuff on YouTube where there are these groups of people who do these little zombie thons, where they they dress up as zombies and walk zombie through streets run. and yeah, yeah, zombie yeah, run. Yeah, yeah, and it's like everyone wants to be the zombie. I mean, that's huge. Actually, they're, they're they're not zombie oh. run; they're zombie walks. Yes, zombie yes. 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 <laughs> but she, and it's true that they're walking. Yeah, they, it is yeah. true that they're walking. Shambling. They're, shambling. they're power shambling. walking. Yeah. They are power yeah. walking. More power behind Larry's argument of the running. Yes. Sure. <laughs> Thank you again. Well, I too like, I always like how George Romero, it always strikes me as how George Romero really is the creator of the flesh eating zombie. Yeah. He's yeah. the father of it all. I mean, everything yeah. after, because the, the but, idea of, zombie, of a zombie in history is not a flesh eating ghoul. Yeah. It's, no. it's a slave. Like yeah. servant. Yeah. yeah. The, 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 like the old goes back to like the white zombie. With 1932. I mean, 1932. They're Haitian slaves that yeah. like, do your bidding. And they can even do your bidding to kill people for you. Uh, like the classic a uh, Colchak the Night Stalker episode. Yeah. Right, right. person gets revenge on people by reviving her dead son yeah. and, and sending him out to kill people. But he's a slave that does your bidding. He's not a flesh eater. That all started... With with George Romero, I just find it fascinating that like the mythology has been everybody just takes for granted that mythology. It's yeah, like they don't. No. It started. That's what I'm saying. There are I no walked, rules. Like right? with the film, I walked with a zombie from the the Valley right. from forty three. Right. That's not No, it's, it's not. Like, it, yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. I I preferred I ran with a zombie. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> see, I, I I don't know if I'm gonna. I would not see that film at all. It's gonna be laughable. It'd be but ridiculous. I mean, but there's lots of, like uh, uh, one of my favorite zombie movies from the seventies, Shockwaves. You ever seen Shockwaves? Oh, oh, underwa- you see that underwater one. Nazi zombies. The first, that, that's the awesome. first Nazi great. zombie movie. Yeah, wow. yeah. yeah. Right and there's a couple, With but Peter it's, Cushing it's great. and John Carradine, and they're just killers. They're they're like they were they're bred to be the master race to kill, that reanimate dead bodies to be in the in the in the core in mm-hmm. the in SS core. Yeah. It's great. And there are supposedly stories of these these Nazi fighters at the end of World War II who were unstoppable, and yeah, yeah. and so, the last of them are living underwater. Outside this island, and, <laughs> That's great. and, and wow. Peter Cushing was like their commanding officer or something. The yeah. Death Call. So yeah. what's this one called again? Because Shock Shockwaves. Shockwaves. Because Shockwaves. you have told me about that. That I it's haven't great. seen it's really this great. one. It's, it's really this good. A, it's, do you know that it's on Blu-ray now, or it's a, it it's is. coming out? It's coming out. Coming out. Mm-hmm. There, there yeah. is another one called Zombie Lake, which is a Nazi zombie movie. Uh, yes, I think it's out of Europe. From not like, quite so good. Just Franco. Yeah, not as good. Yeah, another great one is Sugar Hill. I was just going to bring that Sugar up. Hill, you've told me about that one. I haven't seen, seen that, that one. The black exploitation craze of the of the seventies. You had a lot of black exploitation. This is a black exploitation zombie movie. It's, it's a guy who's like it runs this club. He's like killed by the competition from his nightclub. Like the, the, the local mob. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. And his girlfriend to get revenge resurrects the dead slaves. Dead, dead zombie slaves, slaves with these weird back. silver eyes yeah. rising from the dead to, to kill the mob guys. Yeah, kill all great these movie. mob guys awesome. one by That's one. Great. And w- awesome. Sean, which one is that again? Sugar Hill. Sugar Hill. Yeah, yeah. Girl's Starring, name in the movie Because there's, there's two. I, I have to see that one. And, yeah, yeah, don't, not the don't, Wesley Snipes Don't see one. the Wesley Snipes <laughs> action movie. Yeah. No. Wait, there's a second. Oh, that, no, oh, there's yeah. a movie made in the 90s called Yeah, I remember. Sugar Hill. It's very good. But yeah, Robert Quarry also in Yes, it's great. Who was Count Yorga. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot. So that just I think it's fascinating how oh, okay. like zombies have changed okay. to the ghouls that yeah. eat flesh now, and that's just mm-hmm. accepted. Like nobody's done anything different <laughs> yes, since. Yes, yeah. but they really don't run. Well, <laughs> well now how about how about how about some zombies that not only run, but they use weapons. And they actually kind of communicate with each other. But that's not a zombie, is it? No, yeah, it's, it's called a Land of the Dead, and it was terrible. Oh, <laughs> no, no. well, oh. here's the good version of that movie. Okay. What's that? Nightmare City. Oh, oh I haven't no. seen that. Wait, I don't. Yeah. 
Nightmare, Nightmare City, City Nightmare crazy Italian film is the- way over the top, and that's why it yeah. works. It's so over the top, but it's all there's this plane that's landing. They can't get any sort of communication with it. It finally lands, and all of a sudden. Off this plane comes this horde of zombies with hammers, axes, axes, and they're just (laughs) running, slaughtering everybody. And it is fantastic. And there's even a moment where one zombie, like they're coming up on somebody to kill, and one zombie turns to the other one, like kind of, and goes like, "Hey, come here!" Yeah, like like that. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, and it's it's ridiculous, but it is so much fun. Okay, would you agree? Yeah, totally. But Sean, there was another one you were thinking about, though. We get you. Uh, you, Well, there's there's several. There's also a great series of Spanish horror films from the '70s called The, The Blind Dead. Oh, and yes. what's cool is like they're they're Templar knights and they ride horses oh, and they're awesome. blind, but they have swords and they they find you by your screams and your you know, they have to be silent around them and they're, they're just like very very slow shambling right uh, these big cloaks riding yeah, horses but they're like That's skulls awesome. yeah. faces Crazy. and really creepy kind of you know Euro horror kind of a. Uh, Exploitive. Are they, you know? are they also really, naked girls? They're zombies. Yeah, no, they're zombies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, naked yeah. girls. Uh, yeah. They're zombies. They're Glory. more supernatural zombies. Okay. Right. And you know they ride horses. Yeah. But they're, yeah. um, they're great. Maybe great I think are the horses zombies? Uh, kind of. Yeah, they're kind of like ghostly kind of stallions. That Wait, the horses ride. can be zombies? Horse kind of, zombies. Yeah, yeah. Right. Have animal, zombie animals, animals, zombies. Right. Right. Tell yeah, I need to, I heard that there were some <laughs> animal zombie movies. Was, was there a bird one or something? Do you know about well, that? Well, there was a bird one in Resident Evil. They had that. Yeah. Pet Cemetery. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cemetery. Oh, yeah. Pet Cemetery. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. That's true. That's, that, that's true. that could be a good something. You know, no, yeah. a bunch it's of dogs that untouched. go crazy. Yeah, or cats. It was the cat cats. in Pet Cemetery, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's or maybe technically a, a zombie cat. You're right. Squirrel. Zombies. What if we <laughs> took Night of the Lepus? Oh, oh God! <laughs> zombie bunnies. One of the worst films you know Night ever of the made. First of all, they were not zombies. No, no there's but giant it would have been scarier if they were. <laughs> yeah. It's rabbits. a movie about no. giant rabbits. And whatever you do, just just don't. I mean, you could and, you, take a look at the trailer. And, and they're make, not. Make what is it called? Night, Night of the Lepus. No, it's called Night of the <laughs> yes. Lepus. Yes. Wow. <laughs> and they don't they don't do anything like they don't like dress up. The rabbits or anything. <laughs> yeah. It's literally yeah. just footage of rabbits. Bunnies, around. bunnies jumping <laughs> around on miniature sets. And, and make, yeah. make sure you see the original and not the one with Wesley Snipes. It's <laughs> Good old. Snipes. I think that one's better. <laughs> yeah. so it's, I would see that one. <laughs> it's basically the animal version of that show or that movie Rubber on Netflix with the tire. Oh, oh, rubber, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, the sentient yeah, rubber yeah. tire. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, that's a weird one. Wow, that that's a bad. that's a bad movie. Yeah, that that's really a, bad. No, but not as zombie movie. No. no. Well, no. zombie tire, tire in a way. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Zombie yeah. tire, yeah. yeah. Oh, you're saying tires can't be zombies now? <laughs> no, a tire can't be. No, it, it, inanimate objects yeah. inanimate ab- objects cannot be zombies. It was rolling really slow, though. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh, Ricky, yeah. you got me there. Yeah, that's good. I've been, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, demon booze. <laughs> yeah. Wow, yeah. Talk about pretentious film school crap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I do have those rules. Yeah. I'm sorry about what, that. We're getting, getting back to the zombie genre. Where do you guys, do you guys, where do you guys think it's going? I mean, do you think you're still, um, like, there's still area to explore with, with these movies? And, you know. I think so. I think there's a, uh, a huge like there's so much ground you can cover in zombies and mm-hmm. just like we're talking right now i mean there's some people that have zombie movies where they're infected some of spiritual right some right things, supernatural you know, or yeah or, scientific yeah, like wreck you know like yeah. those movies yeah, yeah. it's it's wreck films are good it's it's uh it's definitely a genre that you can you can be pretty you have a lot of freedom with i mean like just for example uh return of the living dead when they had that oil like tar zombie yes yeah. 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 Of yeah. All time. and then i you see it in the evolution of the zombies in walking dead that's what I makes me appreciate that show so much is the fact that they're you know the zombies the makeup's evolving too you know and then when they had those uh which i wasn't a real big fan of the six episodes either when everyone was sick in the prison um, yeah. but mm-hmm. uh, but I did like the way the zombies looked once they were sick from that disease and yeah. you know it was yeah, kind of a yeah. kind of a cool idea and a lot of people don't take the you know they just say oh we're going to throw some makeup on this guy's face you know it takes uh, right. you have to really like the genre and actually focus a little bit more on the zombies and make sure you know that's yeah, what and, they look and in this good. latest season 
the, the, the waterlogged ones that were yeah. in that that yeah. pool. That was cool too. They, Wait, are you they, talking they, about they, The Walking Dead? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, the yeah. one, the most yeah. a couple yeah, yeah. seasons, uh, yeah. a couple episodes back, like because yeah. they're they all stuck in that in that like pool yes. of yeah. water. So the they all looked the like they were dissolving from water. That was cool. There's also a sequence when there was this explosion. You had the zombies on fire, which I thought was so cool. I love that. There's a um, there's a show talking about talking zombies. There's a show that's English called In the Flesh, Mm-mm. and oh, it's a really smart, unusual take on the whole zombie premise, which is that there was this zombie apocalypse, mm-hmm. and then science came up with this kind of a cure that would – you inject them with something, and they're still zombies, but they suddenly got their marbles back. They're able to think again like the way they did before. Okay. And so now that they have their brains back – they're kind of citizens again. So from this point on now, the government tries to reintroduce them into society. But they're these outcasts. They're these second-class citizens. <laughs> and it's cool. a really, yeah. really cool take Are on they it. flesh eaters, though? Well, there's, they, they're not anymore, but they don't eat at all. They don't eat at all. They don't eat at all, and oh. but and so they everything has been suppressed. Oh. But there's this sort of underground movement that's saying, hey, you know, don't be ashamed of, of you know, <laughs> yeah. what you were. What you Go are, back yeah. to it, you know? <laughs> yeah. huh. And it's really interesting. Matt, you lent me a, a comedy DVD of a zombie. It was a guy's name. It was a, it was a zombie comedy uh, about yeah. his assimilating... Uh, do you remember this at all? Yeah. What, what, um, was, uh, what was that? Dan, if I can remember, but it was really funny. It was good. Oh, the comedy one. Yeah. Uh, was it Wait, Fido? Do, Fido. Yes, Fido. Yeah. Fido. Do you know yeah. Fido? Fido? Wait, yeah. there, uh, there's a uh, what? What is it? Fido. And it's Billy Connolly. Uh huh. And Billy Connolly plays the lead <laughs> character who is Fido. And this, it's kind of similar in a sense to In the Flesh, but. Uh, it's a comedy, and there was a zombie war instead of World War II. Mm-hmm. So the prosperous 50s, what happened is that they figured out a way to defeat the zombies by putting a collar on them that would pacify them. They wouldn't attack you. In, in fact, you could use them as servants. <laughs> and so everybody who is <laughs> goes back affluent to the old, in the 50s right, has yeah, right. has their own zombie, and they're oh. mowing the lawn and uh, you know <laughs> all this kind of stuff. And so this kid who has kind of a rough family life, his mother loves him, but his dad's kind of yeah. a dick, finally gets his zombie. Mm-hmm. And it's Fido, and yeah. it's Billy Connolly, and it's almost like... The zombie version of a Lassie movie. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And it is so clever and funny and shot with really vibrant, bright colors to yeah. sort of emulate that Technicolor look. Hmm. And it was that's, actually done really well. Yeah, like, very I, well done. I, I, I like the, uh, the time piece, you know, like how, how the whole story works. And I just love the Fido character. I mean, he's just a, like a lovable zombie. Yeah. yeah. And there's one point where the collar malfunctions or something yeah. and he goes on a little mini rampage <laughs> and they get him back. And so then that kind of starts some of the problems of like, well, is there a rogue zombie loose? And mm-hmm. so he's got to protect his, his dog, his Fido, his <laughs> zombie uh, pet. And uh, yeah, strongly recommended. Mm-hmm. Cool, cool. Yeah, where do you guys stand on World War Z, Ugh. the Brad Pitt film? Oh. I mean, the funny thing about this is here you have a huge star, Brad Pitt, who actually does his own. Well, also zombie. a project that went through a lot of yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. A, lot a great, of changes. a great mm-hmm. book. Yeah, great book. Love the book. Yeah, Love the book. terrible movie. Yeah. The most uh, non-ending of a movie I think I've ever seen. Because well, they had to reshoot the whole thing, like, right? Yeah, I right? think so. Yeah, yeah. I, I, for me, watching it, I, I could appreciate the fact that we're getting that. You know, this is a movie that's probably one of the most mainstream zombie movies ever. You know, mm-hmm. you're not you don't have a lot of blood, which you know that's that's a good breakthrough for zombie films and stuff like that. Might get more people involved in it. But what I couldn't get over was I don't know. It was like a Sherlock Holmes type thing where he's like every you know time stands still through this like rampage of people and he's like oh I noticed that kid's walking by himself oh I know the way he the way he figures it out yeah, right. I'm just like ah, it's kind of and then then the the what really really did it for me was that ending scene where he's like injecting himself and I'm just like this is so stupid like there's no yeah. way to communicate yeah. yeah. horrible and. There's a couple things that I found out about the original screenplay of yeah. the movie. Mm-hmm. That so when all the zombies are trying to go over the the big fence in Israel, mm-hmm. that originally what the producers were pushing them to do is that the all the bodies form a hand, a uh-huh. giant hand. What oh. and. Yeah. Like yeah. that's wow. that's where they were going with this yeah. thing. Wow. And speaking of Bat- Brad Pitt, what's funny about him is that. Isn't it funny that everywhere he goes, 
is that's when everything falls apart. The minute <laughs> yeah. he... Yeah, it kind of bad time like a Godzilla movie. Exactly. How, the, how it happened in Godzilla. It's like, oh, the kick-ass guy's here. Oh, everything's falling apart. <laughs> yeah. The train's going crazy. You know? Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's in Israel for like a minute. It's over. Right, right. Yeah. He gets on the plane. Crashes uh-huh. and, and how and he lives and he in the, lives and lives in the place just crash. terrible. I'm just like yeah. why? Well, and, I, and, I, why? and I'm against the <laughs> I, Brad Pitt. That's why it should have been Chuck Norris. The whole movie, he looked you know a great A the whole yeah. movie. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, totally. Even and, after the plane wreck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the characters in that movie too are just worthless. But still, it yeah. is pretty amazing that uh, talk about zombies and how popular zombies are today. I mean that it's and, right and for an A list movie like Brad Pitt to make a zombie. And I and I have a real problem with it being cleaned up like with the blood and all that kind yeah. of stuff yeah you're gonna tell the story zombies it's a bloody horrible thing yeah that's yeah. how you got to do it you can't clean it up and yeah. not show violence um right. that's, like, just, that's just wrong like like naked zombie girl which is really it you've got blood you everywhere go God, gritty all gritty down and dirty kind of approach yeah. right yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't if know, it, Matt. If if you can show a zombie running, can't you show a zombie without blood? Uh, well, that's a filmmaking ooh. choice as opposed to. <laughs> I, I think you can, and if a lot of people like that, that would be fine. But <laughs> okay, I don't so in like. In other words, it. if it were a popular choice, then you'd be okay. No, if, if if people if that was a good story, if that was a good story, and they managed to curtail the violence a little bit, I would have been fine. Are they running or are they walking in this, James? Oh, I, I did not. They're, they're, they're running. running. They're, they're running. running. They're yeah. like yeah. super. Can yeah, I, they're like super. Yeah. Crazy. Can yeah. I pontificate for a second about the walking versus running? Okay, okay. Please. please. For me, a big part of the horror of zombie stories is it's us. It's a loved one who died, or maybe your neighbor, right. and it's like, holy shit! You know, he's he's not him anymore. He's he's alien. To Which me. is something that Walking Dead explores really well. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and the Romero films too. You know, yes, mm-hmm. it, it it also speaks to a fear of death. It's a yeah. very mm-hmm. primal thing. And then beyond that, what Romero invented with fleshing zombie things is its society on its ear. It's like, oh, wow, now we're Especially not, in Dawn of the Dead. Especially, yeah. In, yeah. Yeah. So in that, you've got numbers. You've got, the, you've got society becoming zombies, and they're the enemy. Society is the enemy. It's the population yeah. You don't need a single monster running after you. If you've got everybody else the, walking the world. after you, yeah. that's enough. Mm-hmm. And that's my argument for walking versus running. You are so <laughs> deep. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, unless you're telling a different story and then running's fine. Well, what what I, is oh, wrong with you people? No, yeah. no running. Yeah. yeah. Ma- ma- I, I, agree. I, I don't want to see that I same story the, over again. I agree with you on that fact. Yeah, I agree with, I agree Thank with James. You, yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, I feel like I feel like there's different types of scares in film, in the zombie films. And just as there's chemical and you know supernatural, supernatural, right. yeah, I feel like there's that there's that uh, there, there's a, a fear of zombies, and you have two things you can go with zombies, in my opinion, like the big overall fear, and that's the huge group that you know, no matter what you're doing, they just keep gaining on and gaining on. Right. They're just like it's just Masses. like it's like water. The water is like we don't care about water, but it could damage. Mm-hmm. Everything. Yeah, it's gonna you know, erode you. It's a, yeah. for, it's a force of nature. And then you yeah. have, and then I think Zack Snyder brought it back a little bit more to bring in the element of uh more you know like make it more scary was the was the running and i can only i only agree with the running if they're new or they're like infected i agree 28 i agree but i uh, now for a rotted corpse to be running no that's ridiculous that's that's absurd yeah i'm sorry what's that again that's absurd absurd ridiculous unless unless unless, no 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 no. ridiculous and absurd no unless you come up with a reason why those well, rotting zombies can it, it run, and you no, make it work. It just makes no logic. Because it's sense. a made-up story. It's there are no, no such thing as zombies, Larry. How do you know, Matt? <laughs> no How do you thing? know? There's a documentary on Netflix. <laughs> you guys know. <laughs> <laughs> right. That well, we, we, shows as if they would actually work as zombies. I only watched the first half of it, but it's actually pretty interesting. Mm. So they're trying to figure out what disease would make zombies oh, yeah. and stuff like that. We could argue well, this. Now, Megan, until as Naked Zombie Girl, we will. And having now experienced... Battling zombies mm-hmm. on screen. I mean, could you could you see you know more adventures of Naked Zombie Girl and battling different types of zombies and different types of situations and different you know if, if zombies can be explored in so many different ways. Could yeah. we, you see more, you know, Naked yeah. Zombie Girl doing that? I could definitely could. I could see, you know, Naked Zombie Girl in a lot of different uh, situations. And Ricky <laughs> did put her in quite a few. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think, though, my most thing I love about Naked Zombie Girl is if you just kind of look past the nudity and you look past, okay, the zombies, it's a tale about a girl who is empowering herself. And, you know, normally in horror films in general, it's, you know, the girl's the victim. Yeah. You see she's naked totally. and somehow she's a victim or she ends up dying. Yeah. and. 
Barbara, well, Naked Zombie Girl, you know, she just slashes through whatever she has to do to survive. And that's what I really appreciate about uh, Ricky's writing in the film. Yeah, I have no Thank problem you. looking past the nudity. <laughs> yeah, no but, but, and I think that's great, too. It's like in most horror films from the past, mm-hmm. usually if a woman gets naked, she's not going to be gonna alive die. for much longer. Yeah, right, it's yeah. to have sex and yeah, die. You have sex and die. <laughs> theory, yeah. Yeah. And, and I, another thing I really love about this concept is that it's sort of like, you know, the show, uh, was it Naked and Afraid or something? Yeah. yeah. They yeah. throw yeah. these Every naked channel. people. Yeah. in the Survi- wilderness survivalists yeah. I mean yes. these are people who are like they're yeah. not just anybody they're, these are people who they think that these people can actually survive yeah. and it's, it's actually a good show I, it, is a good show. it is a good show it is a good show funny yeah. show story that, about I, that, I like that though that one. Uh, one of my casting directors actually tried to get me on that show and I called my mother <laughs> I called my mother and she basically told me she would disown me and I don't even like horse flies so I would never survive you could do a whole yeah. naked yeah. resume yeah. just be only yeah. naked but show only she, naked she, but she was fine with naked zombie girl. oh yeah she was totally she loved it she cracked up during the premiere so <laughs> but 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 see that's what i think is great and that right off the bat there's this vulnerability yeah. that you have to overcome and get right within your head and you see it in the film you see her go from like oh my god what am i gonna do to okay let's kick ass right right and awesome. that's how that's the only way you're gonna survive mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. well that, i mean zombies the, the whole topic of zombies is just absolutely amazing i'm a huge fan yeah and well, you guys I- have brought up some really great uh, obscure zombie titles that I'll have to check. Of course. And, yeah. and, and, but I can't wait to see Naked Zombie Girl. Yeah, yeah we're excited. Awesome. And um, yeah, I think we, we can run with this franchise forever. We could do Naked <laughs> yeah. Zombie Girl in Hawaii. Hopefully it's as big as Sharknado. Yeah. 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 And, uh, <laughs> the animated TV series. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Happy Meal. Yeah. <laughs> I see Claymation. Uh, um, yeah. I want an anime. An anime. Now, but, yeah. now, uh, I'm just curious, what are some of your favorite zombie movies Ooh, that we favorite, haven't mentioned or, or, um, or even have mentioned we have mentioned a few you know i i'm a fan of the classics evil dead not the living dead um zombies was not like my first love i'm more of like an occult supernatural fan so i was a cool. very big you know um the exorcist oh know, okay great that. yeah I'm that type of horror yeah, but sure. i do i appreciate zombies more after naked zombie girl and having to learn a little bit more but and did you go back after that and kind of research some yeah, older yeah, mil- movies I did. And, and you know i went back and like looked at some and i'm like man i wonder how they did i kind of got caught up on the filmmaking aspect of it though i'm like oh that would have sucked to do that or man that changed oh, yeah. freaking yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. Imagine having to do that kind of stuff back in the early days, yeah. where you had to put on that makeup and just have it all day in right. the most grueling conditions, it's hot sun, and yeah. <laughs> Although I'm sure it's not much better now, <laughs> <laughs> depending on the scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, um, this has been fantastic. This has been, been awesome. awesome. Yeah. Once again, um, if you guys have anything else that you would like to plug, so again, or... where can our viewer, listeners get this? That you can go to uh, Hectic... You can, uh, Hectic Films on Facebook. Mm-hmm. We're on Twitter, Instagram, mm-hmm. Hectic Films, mm-hmm. just Hectic mm-hmm. and Films. Um, then we have Naked Zombie Girl, mm-hmm. the fan and page on Facebook. It, too. Yeah, it's cool. On, there's a fan page on Facebook. We will, and we we will like it. Yeah. And we will do. like it. And Megan, you're going to be in another film. I understand. That's um, o- 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 right. Yeah, or can you I've talk actually, about that yeah, yeah, real I've quickly? Got a, or mention that. Few lined up. I'm actually flying out Friday. To go to Alabama to film um, a kind of a demented version of Snow White, and I get to play the evil queen. So. Ooh, nice. And then I have a film in New York. It's kind of a grindhouse film, so that'll be cool. I can't really give too much on that. Sure, sure. And then, oh. of course, the Naked Zombie Girl feature is coming up. Mm-hmm. And, um, cool. So yeah, I've got a couple projects lined up, so it's going to be good. That's it's gonna awesome. Be good. awesome. Yeah, and keep us informed, yeah. really, about all this yes. stuff, and we're more than happy to help you plug this stuff. Aww, totally. Thank you, guys. Well, we would like to uh, remind our listeners they can find us on YouTube at Monster Party TV. Find us on Facebook, also at Monster Party TV. Find us on Twitter, at Monster Party HQ. And email us, uh, monsterpartytv at gmail.com. We'd love to hear from you. And if you're listening to us on iTunes, please write a review. We would love that. We would like a review to tell us how great we are. Yeah, and to only also good tell us, And also tell us <laughs> that it's true that zombies can't run. <laughs> uh, unless they can. Oh, and, and, and we just want to say thank you very much yes. for having us on the thank show. You. Of course. Oh, thank you. Sure. Yeah. Thank you thank for you so much. Yeah. Yeah, making the trip. Thank you. With that being said... I am Matt Weinhold. I am Sean Sheridan. I'm Larry Stroth. And I'm James Gonis. Keep America strong. Watch zombie films. Uh, I'm a zombie talking and running. Uh, <laughs> zombie knows. Zombies only walk. Only walk. <laughs>